We're going to talk about how to set up equilibrium calculations and then do an example problem. Whenever we set up an equilibrium calculation, uh, we want to be sure that we are looking at the concentrations of our products and we are going to then um, divide those by the concentration of our reactants. And when we set up our problem, we use our coefficients, so these numbers in front, as our exponents for our concentration. Concentration, remember, is moles per liter, or molarity, which is a capital M. So to set up an equilibrium expression for this particular problem, um, I'm going to start with my products, and I'm going to write those on top in brackets. And I'll take the concentration of C, and then I put it to the power of the coefficient, and I'll do the same thing for D, and the coefficient becomes the exponent. Um, I put that over my reactants, and I'm going to do the same thing, the concentration of A to the power of the coefficient times the concentration of B to the power of B's coefficient. So what this gives me is an equation to find my equilibrium constants. So I can figure out if my products and my reactants are favored. If K is greater than one, I favor my products. And if K is less than one, I favor my reactants. If K is about one, approximately, um, my equation is in the concentrations are in equilibrium. So we're going to take what we learned from the previous slide and apply it to an actual situation. So for an equilibrium expression, it's going to be my concentration of my products divided by my concentration of my reactants. So let's start with our products. Um, the concentration of NO will be to the fourth power because four is my coefficient times the concentration of H2O and that will be to the sixth power because that's my coefficient. In writing my reactants, they go on the bottom and I just do the same thing. The concentration of NH3 will be raised to the fourth power and the concentration of O2 will be raised to the fifth power. So all I've done is I have arranged my reactants and my products in the proper places and what we'll see in our example problem is You'll be given a number or a molarity for each of these substances, and then all you have to do is plug in numbers, so long as you can figure out the right setup of the problem. This is a great example problem because it really ties together everything that we've learned. Um, and we are using A and B and A to B as our um, reactants, so they're not real chemicals or compounds, but um, it will get the point across. So we are asked to calculate the value of K when given particular concentrations for each of our substances. Then we're asked if the reactants or products are favored, which we'll know if K is above one or below one to figure that out. Okay, so let's start by figuring out what the setup of our equation should be. K is equal to the concentration of the products, which is A to B, over the concentration of the reactants. So A, and I have a coefficient here, so it'll be squared. 2 is my coefficient, times B. And whenever there is no number in the coefficient, we just assume that that's a 1. You don't have to write a 1. Um, it would never be 0. If there was no B, you wouldn't even write it in your equation. So now that I have my correct setup, the next step is to fill in the numbers that I've been given. So A to B has a concentration of 6.5 times 10 to the negative 1, and I don't have to write M because those brackets mean concentration or molarity. On the bottom, I have the concentration of A, which is 1.0 times 10 to the negative 6, and I'm going to have to raise that to the second power. And the concentration of B is a given, 2.2 times 10 to the negative 4. So now to solve this problem, all I have to do is multiply across the top, which doesn't change anything, 6.5 times 10 to the negative 1. And I'm going to take 1.0 times 10 to the negative 6 squared times 2.2 times 10 to the negative fourth, and I get 2.2 times 10 
to the negative 16. So now I just have to divide the top by the bottom. Be very careful when you enter this in your calculator, make sure you put it in parentheses first. You want to make sure that your calculator isn't trying to divide your exponent by your denominator. That would give you the wrong answer. And so when I put that into the calculator, I get 2.95 times 10 to the 15th is equal to k. And one thing I need to double check at this point is I need to make sure that my sig figs are appropriate. So I notice the smallest number of sig figs in my problem is 2. So this one has to have 2 as well. So I will need to 5 will round 9 up to 3.0 times 10 to the 15th. And I have to be sure to put that 0 there because that is significant. Um, and it gets me the right number of significant figures. Looking at this number, it's very large. So k is greater than 1. Therefore, my products are favored at these concentrations.